Hey YouTube, what's going on? Another symptom of anxiety I want to discuss today, uh, and that's going to be depersonalization, otherwise known as derealization. Uh, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but um, it's one of the symptoms that's probably actually the scariest, maybe aside from chest pain or actual physical pain, uh, because it, especially the first time. So I'm going to go over some of the symptoms uh, in the best way that I can explain them. Everybody's different when it comes to uh, depersonalization. Everybody has their own little twist on it, their own experience on it. Um, I get this uh, comment down below uh, in a lot of my videos um, talking about their experience with it and that they just have this over and over again. Um, the first time it happens, it's very, very uncomfortable. It's very scary. Uh, it's It makes you feel, especially when you're having a panic attack like I did, it really makes you feel like this is like a spiritual experience and you're dying. So um, just something that's crazy about it. So let me get into some of these symptoms first before we get really into uh, my experience. Some of the symptoms, and like I said, everybody's different, so these aren't you know word from word from everybody, but this is my general consensus of this. It's a feeling of detachment, and there's a sense of things not being real or everything is fake. Uh, there's a numbing of your body, of, of sensation. There's numbing of emotions. There is uh, this sense that you're watching yourself from a distance or uh, in a movie. Uh, just an overall feeling of just um, existing in another dimension almost. Like you're watching everything else happen. Uh, you almost feel like as close to your subconscious as you possibly could. You feel like your subconscious is here and your physical being is over there. Um, that's probably the best way to describe it. So it's a very spiritual experience and it's very scary. Uh, whenever it's associated with a panic attack because it makes it seem more real and, and it makes you actually feel like you're dying um, So that's what I went through the first time I had my panic attack um, You know, it was after a weekend of making some bad decisions with um, drinking so I Came back and I was exhausted from this long weekend of hanging out with friends and I'm laying there and I jolt up and I you know I'm like I had been noticing my heart rate and I just had been noticing it over the past uh, probably a couple weeks it was whenever this kind of started to creep in my head that you know what's going on and it's just I had this I had a fast heart rate and that was just basically because I uh, was a smoker and and I drank so time went on and on and I I eventually had my full-blown panic attack I became super aware of that I was like and then just this weird thought went through my head and I don't remember exactly what it was but just a weird thought like oh my god or like a shock you know and it went through my body and I was just like oh my god and I got up and I remember being like oh my gosh oh my gosh and you know that first big panic attack that you have and it's just like all that adrenaline is released and that's right then is whenever I felt this crazy uh, sense of detachment and that's whenever my depersonalization uh, went to a crazy unbelievably high climax and it was like I was literally looking at myself and I feel like this is something that people go through when they're dying or have near-death experiences or uh, whenever they're in a traumatic event, whether that be emotionally or physically. I think it's just when our emotion or our, you know, our adrenaline is pumping, it's something that happens. It, I, the best thing that I could describe it, I mean, I don't know. It was like it was the main voice that was telling me to run, but I couldn't escape, um, if that makes any sense. Um, it's it's a very scary experience to say the least and I get this in my comments all the time about people that are going through this um, I, eventually as as time went on I began to recognize this and it wasn't as big of an issue you know I was like well this is how I felt you know whenever the beginning of a panic attack happens it wasn't as scary because eventually you know I knew in my you know I knew in my head and my heart that uh, I wasn't really dying, you know, so um, it wasn't as real and scary to me. But I had to think about it, you know, because whenever I had that weird feeling, that sense of uh, detachment, it brought me back to being a child. And this happened probably from whenever I could really start thinking on my own, like probably five or six. And it probably lasted until I was probably about 12 before it just kind of went away. And basically, it was just like this thing like that would happen once every like six to nine months if I had to put a number on, if I was forced to. Uh, <laughs> um, looking out the car window is whenever it would usually happen. And I would just have this weird feeling of like, is what what is this? You know, like, what is this world? Like, who am I? What is my body doing here? 
what is going on what is this thing that I'm looking at that's the world and I that's the best I can explain it um, but it feels like it's like the closest you are to your subconscious you know and your subconscious is like coming through and it's like confused at you know what you're seeing as a as a physical being so it's very weird it's very spiritual um, it's very it's a really uncomfortable feeling because we're not used to you know going through things like that <clears throat> at least most of us um, so whenever you have panic attacks is something that you're gonna deal with or anxiety attacks or just high levels of anxiety can bring this about so if you're going through this I you know I'm sorry for that <clears throat> you're just gonna have to learn how to manage your anxiety and with my channel you'll find plenty of you know videos over anxiety and I'll put some playlists up here um, for you to check out okay uh, but one of the things that I started doing whenever I had panic attacks if I didn't go running and, and exercise which was my go-to uh, cold water seemed to jolt me <laughs> out of this uh, crazy trance that I would be in and some of these high stress events that I went through um, it sounds really cheesy or really simple or whatever like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna take it no I'm serious <clears throat> go take a cold shower uh, whenever you're going through some of these uh, depersonalization and see if it doesn't bring you back down to reality uh, <laughs> just try it out it, it might not be what you're looking for but the best way that I can tell you to get a handle on this is handle the root problem. And for most of us, that's high anxiety, all right? Like I said, whenever I was a child, I experienced this, but I don't think it was brought on by anxiety. It was just me getting into this weird sense of thought and um, weird sense of, you know, I was wondering maybe who I was at that time. So it was brought on by that. But this latest round was definitely anxiety and you got to learn how to treat your underlying causes of that all right so whether that be cutting out you know the cutting out the drinking cutting out tobacco or cutting out you know all these other bad habits caffeine if you you know exercise is one of the best ways to defeat anxiety it's oh it's so overrated everybody that I talk to I'm sure gets annoyed by it I've said this in like all my videos um, but you need, also need to meditate in the mornings and evenings. That's whenever you connect with your subconscious mind the most. So make sure that you're doing that. And um, also, what else on that? Positive thinking. I'm, you don't. You don't. You do not understand the power of positive thinking. From the minute you wake up, when your eyes open up, you need to just put a smile on your face and be happy that you're here on this world, and that you're here on this planet, and that you get another opportunity to life. So make the most of it, guys. Be so thankful. Whenever you start to show gratitude, you'll you'll see your anxiety just kind of start falling off and melting away. It was something that I learned over the years that I was going through this. Um, so if you're going through this again, I'm sorry. It is different. It's scary. But realize it's just another symptom of anxiety that you have to deal with, okay? So if you like this video, please give me a like. Leave me a comment down below. I want to know your experience with depersonalization or derealization, whichever one you prefer. And um, also subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Go ahead. You need to do it. And hit that notification button next to it so you can get updates whenever I have my videos. Join my social networks down below. If you're suffering from anxiety, depression, panic disorder, stress, whatever it may be, mental-wise, join that Facebook group down below. I'm going to put it in a pinned comment at the top. So check that out. And that was about it. All right. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and you'll have a good one. All right.